I'm doing a quick video on the pH of lemon lemon juice in water because I keep seeing people putting in lemon juice by the cup instead of by the tablespoon or teaspoon even. So I just put in uh, probably a little more than a drop of lemon juice and I have here like seven drops of which I'm going to pour out six. So that's about the six to one concentration. So I'm just turning it around. <laughs> Didn't separate my pH strip in advance, so I'm gonna have to pull one now with one hand. While filming with the other. Alright. But look at that. Look how red that got. That's what you're doing to your hair. And hair is supposed to be pH balanced. At least if you want healthy hair. I mean if you wanna mess your hair up, then by all means do whatever you want. But hair is supposed to be pH balanced. Between four and seven. Okay, that's a one to six lemon ratio. And uh, <laughs> look at the pH of that. Look at where four is. This is four. Is it upside down now? This is four under me. And look at how red that is. Right? So this is probably closer to the same two. You probably didn't do much. Because pH is powerful. It's a log logarithmic scale. Right? So this is two. This is four where you want to be. And look how red that is. This is three. So it's probably something like 2.5 or even two, right? So pH is not a linear scale where you can just throw a bit of water like an even amount and get something to where you think it's diluted now. It's a logarithmic scale. So you're gonna have to probably put like, you know, at least probably triple that amount to get a decent pH. So one third cup of lemon water to six cups to two cups of water does not give you a pH balanced solution. All right? There you go.